In this video, you will repeat the anatomy of the human body on the example of one of the most prominent sculptures of all time, the Michelangelo's David. I'm in the Galleria dell'Accademia in Florence, Italy. This is the original marble sculpture of David. It was carved more than 500 years ago by one of the most prominent Renaissance artists, Michelangelo Buonarroti. To begin, I will make several quick sketches of the David figure right here in the museum. Arguably, David is the most famous sculpture in the world. On August 16, 1501, Michelangelo was given the contract to undertake this challenging task. It took him several years before he finally completed the job in 1504. It was, indeed, a very difficult task. The statue is 17 feet high and only 2 feet deep in the middle. The statue portrays the biblical hero David, which was a favorite subject of art in the Florentine Republic. The statue was originally intended to stand on the rooftop of the Florence Cathedral. However, on January 25, 1504, when Michelangelo was about to complete the statue, Florentine authorities acknowledged that it would be very difficult to raise the six-ton statue onto the roof of the cathedral. This is why they brought together a committee of 30 Florentine citizens, including Leonardo da Vinci and Sandro Botticelli, to decide where to place David. In June 1504, David was placed next to the entrance to the Palazzo Vecchio, Florentine's town hall. Today, on that very spot, there is a full-size replica, which I am making the watercolor of. Contrapposto With preliminary sketches complete, it is time to explain the male body proportions and anatomy of this example of the David sculpture. I marked the top and bottom edges of the figure and divided this distance in half. The geometrical center coincides with the pubic bone of the pelvis. Here is the important proportion for a standing figure. The distance from the toes to the top edge of the kneecap is the same as from the kneecap to the top edge of the pelvis. This is the same distance as from the pubic bone to the top edge of the breastbone. The bent arm gives us a good view on the triangular shape of the elbow. This shape is defined by two bony projections at the lower edge of the upper arm bone and the top edge of the elbow bone. 